We came here today to just spread light on the youth and just how bad it is out here. Calls to end gun violence coming from Pittsburgh's youth tonight. He was only 15 years old and riding his bike when he was shot and died. Now his community is fighting to end the violence. Dozens gathered to remember the victim today in one of Pittsburgh's hardest hit neighborhoods of the recent violence. Erica Stanish was there tonight and she is live now with their message. Erica. Yeah, today was meant to be a celebration to remember that 15 year old who had his life taken too soon. But it was also a time to come together to find ways to end the senseless violence that's been happening across the city. We love you. Dozens saying a final goodbye Saturday. But he had a heart of gold. He's a beautiful person. To a young teen that was violently shot down while riding his bike in Homewood earlier this week. This is just not right. He was a young kid. He still had his whole life ahead of him. He was only 15. His tragic death now sparking a fire for change, turning pain into passion. Where's the justice? Where's the peace? Where's our safeness? Dozens of teens led the charge, pushing for safer streets in the city. We love you, Dad! As Davon Vickers marks the 18th person gunned down in Pittsburgh in the past three months. There is no reason that we have to sit here and worry about watching our back when we try to go outside and do something. Some here say it comes down to all communities, police, elected officials, and our youth coming together as one and recognizing Homewood, a hot spot for gun violence, as any other neighborhood in the city. And this is a neighborhood in the city, too. And we deserve to have the same resources and supports that other neighborhoods have, too. With the city's police chief standing by in support, this community said change must and will begin now to better protect our youth. Everything we do going forward to protect this corner, to protect our youth, it's going to be for Day Day and all the other young people that we lost as well. This week, Pittsburgh's police chief called the recent uptick in violence unacceptable, saying our communities and neighborhoods must come together and look out for one another for a better and safer city. In the meantime, he's asking anyone with information on this teen's death to come forward and call police. As of right now, no arrests have been made. Reporting live at police headquarters, Erica Stanish, KDK News.